All right, guys, welcome back to Burning Rubber Garage. Today, what we're going to be doing, doing some testing on the Coleman. Uh, there's been a lot of people lately that have said, my Coleman motor blew up. I can't get it to start. It's not working. I did everything you said, and you know what? I'm sorry if yours doesn't. Mine has worked flawlessly. We are stock internals. We have removed the governor. We've added a stage one pack, which is a uh, aftermarket straight pipe. Just bends out over this way. I kind of wish it went like over here and tucked up cool or something, but it doesn't. We've got the air filter. We've got a bigger jet in there. As you can see, I've been out riding it. We do slosh fuel out of this, so I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably just a gasket on the bottom side of this that's not doing its job, which is probably be pretty accurate. So I probably lose as much fuel as I use, and that's probably one day gonna be a problem. But as you can see here, this Coleman's in really good shape. I use it, second set of tires, Still running everything stock minus stage one and governor removal. And then we've added the brake for those of you guys. So my kill switch is on the other side now. I have my brake handle put up over here. Run my wire down. Run it around there. Come to there. There's just a piece of pipe. I guess square tubing. Uh, with, this, with a clamp here just for testing purposes. And we, uh, we work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out. We're going to use those cones. Uh, we're going to use those cones, we're going to set them up, we're going to stop once with just the rear brake, once with the front, kind of get a feel for how, uh, how it stops, if it stops any better, if it was a waste of time. So with that, let's go out and do some testing, but I also want to do a super long term update because it's been like two years on this bike. I think I've owned it three, two years since the governor's been out roughly. So with that, let's get you out there and let's do, a, uh, let's do some testing.
sorry the wind's gonna be bad. That's 12 of my steps that this thing stopped faster. Plus I didn't have the back end sliding. Let's go up in the garage and I'll kind of talk about what I've got here, what I plan to do with it, and we'll go from there. All right guys, I know this is gonna be a shorter video. Um, I'm wearing a size 12 shoe, that's what I wear. Uh, we were about 12 steps, right? Shorter, stopping with the front brake versus just having the rear. And you hopefully can see in the video that when I grabbed the rear brake, it just slid, you know, the back tire kind of slid out because we just had some rain and stuff like that. So um, with that, uh, I think the front brake is worth doing. Uh, I know there's, a, I believe his net last name is Shelton. Anthony Shelton, I believe, has a front brake. He does different than mine. Essentially what I did, took the rear, got a rear wheel and a rear braking assembly and put it on the front. Does it work? Yes. Is it the most effective? Would disc brakes be better? Yes, they would. But overall, I run a little lower pressure in the rear because that's where my fat butt sits. Uh, a little higher in the front. Not sure why. You could probably run the same on both. But I want to thank everybody for subscribing. All of you guys who watch these videos, the thumbs up. Uh, you guys seem to like the Coleman, so I've got a couple ideas on what I want to do with it in the future. Uh, it's going to probably be something that you have not seen before, so i just got to find what I'm looking for and go for there. Uh, and then maybe after that, we'll try something else. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, I know I already wrapped up this video and I'm sorry to put something at the end like this, but I did tell you I would do a long-term review on this bike. Um, one thing I want to say about the bike is it has been a good bike. Uh, there's been a lot of miles put on it, a lot of hard driving. I mean, do I go out there and floor it everywhere I go? A lot of the time I do. Do I keep it floored for long, long distances? No, I don't. I back off, go partial throttle. If you're out there full balls to the wall, you're probably going to have some issues. Uh, again, stock bike, I've changed the oil to a, I think it's either a semi-synthetic or a full synthetic uh, because I knew it would be wringing it out a little harder. Didn't want the oil to break down. I believe I may have changed the plug to a better plug. If not, we'll be doing that soon. Uh, it's probably time to change it anyways. Um, would I buy this again? I would, but probably what I would do is get the one with the front suspension. Uh, I think it would make it ride a little nicer, might even make it stop a little better as it was able to transfer weight. The rigid frame, you will feel that as you're going. I mean, the only kind of suspension you have is your tire pressure, and you run the, the risk of going too low, popping it off, or too much and uh, breaking you. So. Uh, with that being said, long-term update, yes, I would buy it again. Would I do all the same mods again? Yes, I would. I probably would put a little more effort into the front brake. If you haven't seen that video, I'll try and throw a link to that somewhere, maybe even at the end, um, and get it all fully welded. I just uh, The video didn't do as well as I thought it would, so I didn't waste my time finishing up the brake because it works as is. It's still better than I got it. So... Um, Overall, yes, I would buy the Coleman again. Would I like to get another one? Yes, I would. I'd like to get the BX series. So uh, if, you, if you're watching this far, thank you. Again, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see me get that BX Coleman. Um, it's got the front brake. Way different looking frame. Uh, we could get that. Kind of do a stock versus modified race and everything like that. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one.